Woo! Huh. Yeah, oh, I'm not gonna waste your time, bro. It's a crossfade. Fine, you don't believe me? Watch this. Yo, what's good you legends? I hope that you are doing dope. Today we're in downtown OKC and I'm taking some photos for my sister's business and I decided to just take this opportunity to help you make your crossfades the most underrated transition, make it look dope and not like this. All right, let's do this. Number one, you gotta make sure that your crossfades are actually shortened. A lot of times whenever they do it just like automatic, the crossfades are just way too long. You don't wanna have long crossfades. Short and sweet ones look really good. For example, I remember one time I did this one where it's just a regular crossfade from like a blank wall to another blank wall, but for some reason, it looks dope. By the way, you may recognize this spot from a video that I did, like a night shots, bangers kind of thing. This is where I got some shots. This looks sick right here, now that we have some light coming in from the back, so uh, yeah, let's get it in. <laughs> By the way, I may have to come back to this whenever it's like nighttime because right now it's 7.47 and sundown is at 8.10, meaning that I only have like half an hour left. Wait, half an hour? <laughs> Math, baby. Science. Yes, science. I don't even know. That's a meme. Anyway, just know when golden hour is because like I need to get to a spot. If you just see me rushing and just see like a drone shot right here, that's probably why. <laughs> Another thing is that people do, people just use like the automatic crossfade. You don't want to do an automatic crossfade, bro. That's just doing, that's just, just don't do it, man. As far as doing crossfades, you need to stack them on top of one another, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you have like one on top of the other and then fade them in and then you just start tweaking it from there. Shorten them, do them less, whatever, but just do that. That's one of like the biggest tips I can give you. Okay, this shot behind me actually looks free. So that shot actually looked pretty good. But on top of layering it, the best thing that I can tell you about it is make sure that you're crossing it over with speed ramps. So if you like speed ramp something and then just add a crossfade, it can a lot of times make it look like it was a mask. So a lot of times people think, yo man, that mask was dope or it looks sick like this way. It just is that much easier. That's why I always go with speed ramps, crossfades, and it looks dope. And if you want to get real fancy, you can actually do like a double crossfade, kind of like that double exposure kind of thing to where I know I did it in uh, like the COVID-19 effect video, which if you want, you can click right up there and take a look at it. But I put my face on top of each other and layered them up on top of the crossfade just so it looks kind of like a flash kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm talking to you this whole time. All right, I need to hurry up, man. The freaking golden hour, dog. Did I get you? You've seen that meme, right? Where the, or the video where he's... Alright, whatever. And here's another thing, man. If you have to do a transition, because a lot of you guys, dude, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all are some trigger-happy dudes, man. Y'all just throw zooms in on everything, and then y'all like whip transition and everything, and I'm just like, bro, relax, man. You don't gotta do all that stuff. Just do a simple cut. I'll tell you right now that a lot of times, people be using too many fades, man. Quit doing cross fades whenever it's like really noticeable. It looks really bad and very amateurish. You gotta know when to do cross fades, not all the time. What I'm saying is that when you do do cross fades, that's your secret weapon, man. Pretty much make it to where people don't know that it was just a cross fade. That make sense? I ain't gonna lie, man, this is killing my shoulder. I'm like holding the tripod too. Drop. 
Next thing, make sure that maybe you just use it on, oh crap, I don't know where this goes, but I'm sending, oh, that's a wall. Santo Dios. Yeah, that could have been me, bro. Another thing is that it may be a good idea for you to actually do it on like uh, the same color surfaces, all right? A lot of times I see people doing crossfades from like nighttime to daytime and it just doesn't look good. Take care of your colors, all right? If you're gonna go from night to night, make sure it's night to night. If you're gonna go like from green to green, go green to green. Make sure they're just picking right colors that are similar with each other. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Remember that I'm just talking about like B-roll stuff, something that's like cinematic, not necessarily like interviews or anything like that. Cause interviews, like crossfades work or whatever. So let's just recap, okay? Make sure that when you use a crossfade, you're layering those bad boys, okay? Make sure that you customize it, like I said. Just start playing around with it, bro. Just start playing with it, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna transition from different backgrounds and stuff, make sure that they're somewhat similar. This is a really good example. Woo. Match it up with like a different transition, okay? Sometimes a speed ramp isn't enough or sometimes just a mass transition isn't enough, which by the way, I freaking hate mass transitions. They're so annoying. But anyway, you can click up there if you want. But do a crossfade at the end and it makes people be confused. Like, yo, what the heck just happened right there? There are several times people have asked me about transitions and I'm just like, yeah, man, it was just a crossfade. Don't sleep on those crossfades, man. Crossfades can go really hard and it's freaking free, dude. So go for it. Anyway, uh, I gotta go get some more shots over here. I think they came out pretty good. bad right these are for like her website and like marketing kind of stuff but anyway go ahead and like this video and subscribe because that's what all the cool kids are doing follow me on instagram at keyboard if you want to see some behind the scenes and all of that jazz you know what i'm saying anyway i think that is it and i will catch you on the flip side boom up in my garage and it's gonna say this bumper was pulled off of the bus of Salinas.